Having gone through the believing game, the doubting game, and descriptive outlining, we will now build the argument map. If you haven't watched those videos, please check them out, as they will help you build some important critical thinking skills. The purpose of creating an argument map is to organize the various ideas laid out in a text, in a logical structure that enhances our understanding of the text and helps evaluate it critically. Once the argument map will be done, we will be able to check the logical connections between its components and identify if there are any flaws in the argument presented by the author. This is critical thinking at its best. Let's get started. This argument map will be built based on the article regarding the potential of psychedelic drugs to treat depression, written in The Guardian by Robin Carhart Harris. During the previous exercises, the believing game and the doubting game, I have made some notes with the main ideas of the article. I will now use those to build the map. My notes are in this separate notepad document. Let's quickly go through them, just as a reminder of what the article was all about. The central idea of this article is that people should start considering psychedelics as a better alternative to psychotherapy and conventional antidepressants. And in order to support this conclusion, the author offers three reasons. The first reason is that psychotherapy is more expensive, harder to access, and no more effective than drugs. Unfortunately, the author does not offer any evidence to support this idea. The second reason that the author provides is that conventional antidepressant drugs are not very efficient. This can be seen as a sub-conclusion because the author goes further to split this into three different reasons. So the first one is that they come, these antidepressants come with side effects that put people off taking them. No evidence is provided. They have a palliative rather than curative action. We haven't got any evidence here and they require having the chemical in the body for several months or longer. No evidence is provided. Now, just a quick note uh, regarding the fact that there is no evidence to support these ideas. The author has not provided any evidence within this article, and we were also not able to find any. But this doesn't mean the evidence is not out there, just that perhaps it is out there, but the author hasn't included it, which unfortunately does make the argument weaker. The third reason for supporting the conclusion is that psilocybin-assisted therapy can make a significant difference in difficult-to-treat depression. And here the author offers two studies, which are pretty strong. Okay, so now we'll go to build our argument map. In Argumentful, the first thing to do is to click on New, and then in order to create a new project, we will select this root folder called My Projects, and then we'll click on New Project. And you can probably note a new project has been created under My Projects, and this is signaled also by this uh, little green bar here. I'll go ahead and rename this project just so that it makes uh, a bit more sense for the whole library which I'm going to have here. So this project I'll call it Psychedelics and Depression so that I can recognize that this was about uh, the article written in The Guardian on this topic. Once I have renamed it, I double-click on the project, and this takes me inside this white canvas, where I'm able to build the argument map. So I will start with the conclusion. And just a quick reminder, the conclusion for this argument is here at the top, that people should start considering psychedelics as better alternative to psychotherapy and conventional antidepressants. So I'll copy this statement with Control C. I'll move back to Argumentful, and I will build a node, or I will create a node, and that's really easily done by right-clicking on the mouse, and then on this wheel of nodes, I will select the conclusion, CO. And here is my node just created. I click on this, and here on the right-hand side, under Properties, I will change the label of this node, and I will just paste the whole statement that I copied from my notes. I can also enter some additional information here under Text, but I will not do that now. I have already entered the whole statement under Label, so that's enough for me. Moving back to our argument, 
let's uh, see how we can create the first reason. So psychotherapy is more expensive, harder to access, and no more effective than drugs. I'll copy this statement with Control C. Going back to Argumentful, right click on the canvas and select this time the node which is called RE for reason. And here it is. I will change the label and I will paste the whole statement. And in order to connect the two nodes to show the relationship uh, to each other, the fact that this is the reason subordinated to the conclusion, as soon as I hover over the reason, we can see this little red circle. So once that appears, I can click and then drag and drop, and this will create the arrow between the two. Back into the notes, we can see that um, there is no supporting reason for this particular statement. We haven't got any evidence. So we're pretty much done with reason number one. We can move to reason number two. Conventional antidepressant drugs are not very efficient. I'll copy this statement, go back to the white canvas of Argumentful, right-click, select the node called RE, reason, and then change the label on the properties uh, side by pasting. And just like before, as soon as I see the red circle, I can click and then drag and drop, which will create the arrow between the reason and the conclusion. Back to the argument, we can see that this is actually a subconclusion or a reason made up of three other reasons. So let's uh, create those as well. I'll copy the first one. They come with side effects that put people off taking them. And then in Argumentful, right click, select reason, change the label of this. And since I'm here already, I'll just create two other reasons. One and another one. I'll move this a bit more to the center. And actually, let's move this slightly lower. Okay, and now back to my notes. I want to check, uh, actually, I want to copy the other two reasons. They have a palliative rather than curative action. So this is the second over here. Change the label, pasting, and then the third one, they require having the chemical in the body for several months or longer. Again, copy, select my third reason, and paste. Okay, so these three are making up this sub-conclusion at the top here. So to, to signal that, I'm just going to add an AND node. And then these three are going to be collected by the AND node. So by just uh, clicking, dragging, and dropping, and then the AND node will go into the parent reason or the sub-conclusion here at the top. And I'll just move them again a bit lower, just so that uh, the whole image is more clear. Okay, so I think now it's a bit more clear what we've got over here. Okay, let's go back to our notes. And we, we still have the last reason, reason number three. Psilocybin-assisted therapy can make a significant difference in difficult-to-treat depression. So copying this right-click on the white canvas, selecting reason, and then changing the label of the reason, pasting the statement. Then I will connect this reason to the conclusion. I'll move it a bit further to the right, because under this one we actually have backing evidence, which is amazing, which is really great. So let's start with the first one. I will copy the name of the first study, back into Argumentful, I will right-click on the canvas and then select the node called BK, which stands for backing so, or backing evidence. Once I create this, I double-click and this takes me into the properties of the node. And here at the top where it says source, I will paste the name of the study and then hit enter. And what happens right now is that this study is being searched through the database and you can see it's already found. 
I will click on that and then on the right hand side we can see the properties of this. We have the title populated, the URL of the study, the offers. So the only thing left to do is for us to link this to bookmark it within the argument map. So doing that means I'll click here at the top on bookmark. And then once that's done, I'll click on save, which automatically moves me to back to the argument map. And now if we select this backing node here or the evidence, we can see all the properties that have been populated here are coming from the search that was just performed for this study. So now I want to connect it to the parent reason. So click drag and drop. And then finally we have the last study that is provided by the author. This is also backing evidence. So let's take the name of that study. Double click on the node and then paste the name of the study and hit enter. So we can see the details, click on bookmark, click on save, which moves us back to the map. And then when we select the evidence, we can see the details populated in the properties. All right, so this is it. The, our argument map has been built. It's already pretty clear what are the strengths as well as the weaknesses of this um, argument. And um, if, you, if you haven't noticed yet, these have to do with the fact that every reason in an argument has to be backed by evidence. So we've got here this reason, which for which the author of the article hasn't included any evidence, and the same for this one. So this reason, which is further split into three reasons, there is absolutely no evidence provided for, for them. We only have evidence for the idea that psilocybin-assisted therapy can make a significant difference in difficult-to-treat depression. So the fact that we haven't got any backing evidence for this other side of the argument is definitely a problem and uh, can, and I would argue, it does make this argument weaker. So the final step is to save the argument map. The argument is supported by evidence on the branch that deals with claims regarding psychedelics. Nevertheless, now that the argument is in a visual map, its weaknesses are becoming quite obvious. The fact that the author has only included evidence in support of the statements regarding psychedelics and has missed to include any evidence in support of the statements regarding psychotherapy and conventional antidepressant drugs. As with other past analyses, I'm not saying that this evidence does not exist, only that the author has not included it. From a critical thinking perspective, this submission hurts the argument because it misses the opportunity to show the readers that these statements are supported in science and could result in readers losing trust, even in the statements that do include backing evidence. So how could this argument be improved? Let's first talk about the positive parts of the argument. The claims regarding psychedelic usage in mental health interventions seem to be true, and the author managed to convince me of their effectiveness. The reason for this is obviously because he did include supporting evidence. The claims which I doubt, as I'm not an expert in this field, it's very hard for me to judge if the claims regarding the ineffectiveness of psychotherapy and conventional drugs are true. I would need to do further research to find out for myself if this is the case. So to improve this argument, what would need to be done is that claims regarding the ineffectiveness of psychotherapy and conventional drugs, they would need to include supporting evidence in order to give any strength to this side of the argument. And as a reminder, if we go back to the map, these are the claims. The one uh, regarding psychotherapy, and the ones regarding conventional antidepressant drugs. So what is my position overall? The author has made me very curious regarding this topic. He managed to convince me of the effectiveness of psychedelics usage and mental health interventions, and I really look forward to reading more about the upcoming results of the clinical trial that they have conducted. 
However, I'm not yet convinced that these are more effective than current therapies. My next step would probably be to do my own research and find out if these claims are true. But it's also worth pointing out that not all the readers of this article will necessarily take the same path as me, and they might dismiss these unsupported views without bothering to look for further evidence.